Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Now, you were having an issue this morning uh, where, where you're at. You are in, in a house down in Florida helping a friend, and the Wi-Fi wasn't working. You were all frazzled this morning, Ken. I was completely frazzled. You can't tell now. Uh, yeah, I had to wake up my girlfriend. I had to say, please help me. Uh, she uh, knew what everything was and, and was able to reboot everything. So here we are. Uh, well, we're looking at, we're glad you're here. We're looking at about 80 degrees, partly sunny throughout the day. Uh, chance of thunderstorms later on in the day into the overnight. And then tomorrow looking good again, about 80 and sunny. So uh, we'll be We'll be prepared for that. Um, you are getting ready. Now, I, I and I'm not saying this. Uh, you thought at the beginning of the week I was really trying to push your buttons. I'm actually saying this because I'm interested. Um, you are getting ready tomorrow to leave for your journey home. Is that correct? That's right. I won't be here tomorrow. We're leaving in the morning, and we are driving to Savannah. We're going to stay in the same place that we stayed coming down and maybe get there a little earlier so we can explore a little bit of Savannah. And, yeah, that's our plan for tomorrow. So you're going to do uh, not that much drive. I mean, it's a lot of driving, but not that yeah. much driving tomorrow. Uh, because well, isn't I it guess it's closer? about seven or eight hours. Okay, well, I'm right. And if you're driving from Florida, normally, like, you know, the whole trip is about 24 hours. If you're driving from Florida, normally you'd want to go about 12 to 14 hours on the first day. Well, that's if you have two drivers that are capable i'm not oh. sure you know i told you we rented yes. a cadillac escalade i don't think she is gonna let me drive it i don't blame her <laughs> i don't think it's safe i don't think it's safe uh. we're not gonna kill each you know we're not gonna kill ourselves to get back we're gonna take our time and we'll be back sunday i understand so you're you plan on stopping in in savannah uh so my question uh, is, do you, ha I, I know you want to see the town. You mentioned that on your way down. You wish you could have seen more of the town. Do you have a plan? Did you map out like all the sites you want to go to? No, we didn't. We're going to wait to see exactly what time I get there. Mm. And then, uh, we're going to take a ride. We're not going to go and we're still social distance. It's still a pandemic. We're not going anywhere except to drive around and look at all the cute houses in town and whatnot. I was about to say, that was my next question. Did you look at the, uh, you know, what the rate of COVID is in Savannah, Georgia, Candy? I have not. But again, we're not getting out of the car. We're just going to okay. take a little ride and then go stay in the hotel, which we've already stayed. It was quite, you know, they were quite pandemic aware. Everybody masked. People there were really, really nice. I'm looking forward to returning there. Well, that's nice. You uh, you enjoy that. Uh, and we'll be without you Friday and Monday. Uh, by the way, you asked me earlier because uh, we mentioned there was a uh, a, a wine expert who did a, um, a, wi a white wine showdown with 400 households uh, tasting and judging celebrity white wines. And number one was Sting. And you asked me which white wine it was. What's it called? I don't even know the name of it. OK, it is called it's it's a long name. It's called Stings to Palagio Roxanne Toscana Bianco 2018. Oh, so yes. I'll just go in the store and say, please give me Stings white wine. 2018. 2018. The uh, Roxanne Toscana yeah, Roxanne. Bianco. Oh, 2018. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, I will look for that. You got that right. Uh, the Dave Matthews, the Dreaming Tree Chardonnay 2018 was second. Lisa Vanderpump's Chardonnay 2018 was third. And Zach Brown's Alexander Brown Uncaged Chardonnay, uh, which I think I have a 2017, which I think I have a bottle of that here. Uh, what are you was talking about? Was number four. Because Zach Brown, uh, a number of years ago, when he started bottling his own white wine, he sent bottles around to radio you stations. You gotta find that. You're not for drinking that. You gotta send that to me. I think I have it. Yeah. Listen, I can't even send you masks. You think I can oh, send you? Oh, you are a... just incompetent. Don't get me going now. I. You, you want a breakable bottle of white wine in the mail? Now you're. Yes, you're that's really, what I want. You are really, really pushing it, Candy. <laughs> I, uh, I'll I really. You. I'll get my own. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.